My name is Khadija Asureshwala. I live in Ashburn. I've been married for four years now and I have a two-year-old daughter. Um, I'm a textile artist. I call myself an artist of, that takes all the uh, traditional uh, techniques into a very modernistic perspective. I think my style is very unique. I don't have a very a set way of working. I lived in the UK for almost seven to eight years, and then um, I moved back to Mum uh, back to India. I lived in Mumbai, which is very which is a very cosmopolitan uh, city. I think my style is more free flowing. I would say, um, I when I'm painting, I'm usually using lots of brush strokes, which are um, direct. So this is a, a very interesting uh, batik piece. This is used, made using naphthol dyes, um, and and it's a that's a more of an Indian um, a batik. This is like an abstract sun with flowers, and, and that's how Ma uh, Malaysian batik was very inspiring to me. And I've been doing Malaysian batik for a very long time, but um, this is one of the pieces. This is a peacock inspired with feathers, you know, the colors are very neutral, yet it's popping in like this, there's the greens. This is another one. It's very geometric, yet like blues and shades of blues. So here is my batik with a lot of textures and florals and and even the geometry is not very straight and imperfection sometimes is the best form of beauty, I guess. Batik is basically um, a resist method. Now, it, 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 I use wax as a resist method. So when I'm apply, I'm painting with wax first so that the wax does not allow the dye to permit into the area that I, that's the, the, where I've painted. I use uh, mostly silks. I take the inspiration from various different arts um, and you know prints. The African prints are something that really like strikes me so the color combinations are something that I look at. Um, then there is Malaysian batik, Indonesian batik. Is some, that's the style I'm, I'm using for my uh, work right now. But once it's dried I treat it and then I iron it out and I, you know, take the wax out. Basically, I do the process of removing the wax. So that's called de-waxing. And that's how you get uh, these certain, you know, textures. There are some Indian forms where, you know, you see a lot of like um, the, the, the square, which is a, a form of art called Madhubani. So that, that's an inspiration from there. But it's these motifs that they use specifically um, it's like into triangles. I really like using geometry in my work. This is the uh, inspiration, I would say, from the American culture, right? The Christmas and like the snowman, the lights that you see. American culture is definitely very um, open to different cultures. So that's one thing I got. Like it, it is accepting of all cultures. That's the one a the plus. That's the, the biggest um, advantage over here that you see different people. My brand's name is Khadija. It's just my personality out there. So when somebody is having, like wearing something, you know, it's just something that I've created. Hi, how are you? Good, how is it going? Oh, it's pretty good. I want my, my brand to be a diversified brand that, that has everybody in it. I like how you're able to to choose a style and stick to it, but be able to make it almost feel personal to the buyer. Wow. Okay. Because you can create it, you know, like you can manipulate the design because it's your own. Yeah. Which is, is really, really impressive. I definitely um, have an exhibit that I want to do. That's my dream. Um, but I want to also conduct some workshops just to um, share or uh, give the experience of, you know, the, the, the batik or, or block print. Even tie-dye, even if it's traditional method, right, you can really make it your own. Um, like I have done it. Tie-dye and batik are my favorite mediums.
It's an extremely therapeutic process for me. Just throwing colors, seeing what, what kind of um, results I'm going to get mm -hmm. is something I look forward to. Thank you.